Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how a 14 segment LED display works. So here um, you can see uh, by using 5 14 segment LED displays I have displayed my name R E J A N. Alright, so uh, here a 14 segment. Uh, LED display has 14 segments. You can just count. There, there, are, there are 14 segments, and different combination of these segments turn on um, to form some alphabets or letters. Uh, what I mean to say is, um, let's say for example, if uh, you have to display an A. Um, an uppercase A then the segments that need to be turned on are A B C uh, this D should not turn on right uh, this E should turn on this F should turn on and these G1 and G2 they should turn on <laughs> so that uh, the LED shows an A So here in each of these LEDs uh, you can see uh, this one is um, the pin through which we supply the voltage to this LED to power it on, to turn it on. Alright, so you can see uh, this is the voltage source, uh, an AC voltage source and I have connected this voltage source to each of these pins indicated by red sign and here on the left side we can see there are six pins which are the <coughs> sorry which are the pins uh, which are these outer pins A, B, C, D, E and F alright and at the bottom you can see eight pins uh, and these pins are these um, inner segments so it's um, H, I, J, G1, G2, K, L and M alright so uh, as you can see here uh, for displaying an A uh, this um, this segment should turn on so this segment is A so that's why I have connected A right and then this B should also turn on so B is also connected the second pin is B the third one is C is also connected we don't need this D so that's why this fourth pin is not connected and this is E we need it so it's connected and this is F so it's also connected and for the inner segments, uh, we want this G2 and G1 to turn on. G2 is the fourth pin and G1 is the eighth or the last pin. So I have connected this fourth pin and eighth pin. Um, actually, uh, these pins are grounded, alright? We just supply the voltage uh, through these pins, indicated by red, and uh, these 14 pins. Um, uh, out of these 40 pin, 14 pins, uh, we ground, we just ground some pins uh, so that we can display in an alphabet. All right, so I will just show you the simulation. Here, uh, this is an 80 volt source. Um, you can see the amplitude is 5 volts and the frequency is 5 hertz. All right, so. Let's run the simulation. Alright, so <coughs> this is for 5 hertz frequency. Now let's see what happens if we decrease the frequency, let's say to 1 hertz. Now uh, the blinking will 
uh, be slower now. All right. Uh, let's decrease this to let's say zero point two hertz. So that means uh, we can make these LEDs blink um, as fast or as slow as we want. Uh, this Proteo software has um, these LEDs in three colors. Um, I will show, show you how a green LED looks like. Alright, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to replace all of these red LEDs with green ones. So I'm just replacing all of these with green ones. And now let's run the simulation. Let's increase uh, the frequency of this AC voltage source. So this is 200 millihertz, all right? Uh, I'll make it five hertz. Okay. Okay, this is. Um, a 14 segment display um, and you can use it um, for displaying your name on LED displays. I hope you enjoyed the circuit. I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye.